turn. These are a killer deal. Any idea why? Uh, because it says Air Max in neon green all over it. <laughs> Good morning everybody. I just have to give a shout out to all of you single moms because Justin went out of town for a few days then he came home and he's been super, super sick. So I've been running the show for a few days and I just, my hat's off to all of you because it's a ton of work. So I got up this morning and I made everybody breakfast. Got breakfast down to the basement where Ashton and Justin have been hanging out, keeping all the germs downstairs. We brought them stuff so they could shower down there. <laughs> I'm so glad they have each other because they've just been having a little sick party down there and I don't feel as bad that they are all alone. So we did breakfast. I actually snuck away to go to the gym because Turin is here to hold down the fort upstairs. I have been loving my workouts lately and I can't always say that. Do you ever go through phases where you're like, okay, I'm doing this because it's good for me and then other times where you're just loving it. I'm just loving it lately. I usually go to the gym and do some cardio and then I love, love, love to lift weights. That's probably my favorite thing to do. So, got to go do that. I'm back and everybody's hungry again. Turbo actually has already done a bunch of chores. He went outside and cleaned up all of Annabelle's surprises on the grass because the snow's starting to melt so we're finding a lot that maybe got buried underneath the snow. I also have to give a little shout out to Turin because yesterday, Landon was a little bit nervous after school Ashton was homesick, as you all know, and Turin went home with a friend. And I think Landon is used to having at least one brother there, if not both brothers, most of the time. And for some reason, his watch was not working. So he was trying to call me and it, I was answering it and I couldn't hear him, then I'd call him back and he'd answer it and I couldn't hear him, it was the craziest thing. So he was in the office crying because he was just feeling nervous. I was on my way and I was stuck in the, in the carpool line, but he was nervous. And apparently one of Turin's friends called him and told him that Landon was in the office crying. So Turin called me all worried and said, mom, I heard Landon was crying in the office, is he okay? And I thought, that was so thoughtful and sweet of him to be so concerned about Landon and checking on him. Landon was totally fine. We picked him up. He was all good. But I thought it was such a sweet little thing of his big brother. So I said yesterday when I closed the vlog that I was going to take advantage of a quiet Saturday where we're stuck at home and get a few projects done. So I'm going to put the kids on a project that they don't know about yet. Turns giving me a look like, what? Project. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, come over here. I'm going to show you guys. This one? It's better than picking up Annabelle's dog poop, that's for sure. Okay, this is what our game closet currently looks like. And it's making me crazy. So, I'm going to put the kids in charge of pulling out the games and getting all the pieces put in the correct boxes. And we are going to go through and get rid of games we don't play with and reorganize it because it's that closet that when you open the doors, it just all falls out. And uh, we are gonna clean that up. I'm really excited because there's nothing that makes a mom happier than a clean house. Who's excited about this job? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is that a no? I think Ava might be excited. Turin's for sure not excited. <laughs> so Turin is pulling out all of the games. Ava and Landon are going to grab a piece uh, that's laying around and put it on top of the box. And then when we finish putting all the pieces on top of the boxes, we'll put them inside. Then we have to figure out which of these games we don't really play. We've also got puzzles. We've got things from when they were little that we could probably pass down to someone else that we aren't using anymore because they're all getting so big. Okay, if you're wondering why I have braids in, it's because I'm deep conditioning my hair and I started deep conditioning Miss Ava's hair and put her hair in braids and completely forgot that she's going on a special date tonight. Where are you gonna go? We're going to dinner and get her yesterday. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? You're gonna help me, huh, Ava? Be so brave. I've got one then, and now I'm gonna get that one. Because she's kinda nervous, so she, she thought she would bring you because you were so brave last time? Yes. Do you think you could hold her hand and help her to be brave? Are you gonna help me she's kinda brave? nervous. I'm really nervous. And I know how much you always love my clip-on earrings, huh? Do you remember always wearing my clip-on earrings when you were little? Do you remember yes, that? that's right. You would always would beg to wear Brittany's clip-on earrings. I just wear my clip-on earrings. So I thought it'd be so fun to go get real earrings with you now. I wish everybody would. Are you oh, the, the clippy ones? Yeah, remember the clippy ones? <laughs> Do you remember those before you had your ears pierced? You're gonna have so much fun! Oh my goodness, girl party. Who are you going to pick up next? Huh? Who are you gonna go pick up next? Hazy. You're gonna take the bus over to Hazy's bus stop and pick her up? That's why I was invited. 
<laughs> you want to come and, and get my ear piercing with me, Turbo? Yes. It's because you don't have any experience in the ear piercing department. Sorry, buddy. It's just kind of a girl's day out. Jared. <laughs> yeah, but he's married to her, so that's part of his he duty. He doesn't have a choice. Right, Jared? Mm -hmm. You going to hold her hand? Oh, yeah. Did you find some good food in my house? I don't think I have any. I was kind of hoping to finish that before you <laughs> No, I'm just wondering where you found it because I haven't found any good food lately. Well, I saw Landon eating something. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was eating. He showed me you got like these cheese roll, cheese roll bread thingies. Oh, yes. Help yourself because they're... I already did. Are you even going to miss me? Oh. Every time Brittany comes, you're just like, see ya, mom. <laughs> Not such a good thing because you're so lucky to have her. Huh? <laughs> you're so lucky. I thought she was unlucky. <gasps> Oh, and you wonder why you weren't invited. Hey, have fun here, turn. <laughs> we'll just be cleaning out the game closet. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> okay, as you can see, the game closet has gotten a complete facelift. We are not done though because we still have all sorts of treasures all over the ground. Yippee. But we are getting there, even though it looks worse than when we started. <laughs> I will say, we have successfully found a home for all of the missing pieces that were everywhere. So that's a start. Got rid of a few games that we never play, some puzzles that had a million missing pieces. I'm probably gonna do the rest by myself because I'm really grateful for their help, but it's been a little bit of a tedious project that it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Been working on some laundry. Ava is so excited. I don't think I warned her today that they were coming. I think I told her yesterday, and so we both had kind of forgotten, and they knocked on the door, and she walked up and was like, what are you doing here? And like jumped into Brittany's arms. She is so excited, I cannot wait. Their video will come out before ours, so if you haven't already, you've gotta go check out that video. Brittany getting her ears pierced with cute little Ava and Hazy by her side. How sweet is that? Seriously, the cutest aunt and uncle ever. So here's the deal, the twins' birthday. As you saw, we celebrated with them last weekend, and we got Ashton an electric skateboard that he's been asking for, and it's been sitting in our house for the last week. However, we have gone back and forth over a thousand ideas for Landon and have been struggling with what to get him for his birthday. We thought it would be fun to give him their presents at their family birthday party, which now we're not having tomorrow. We're postponing that, which is so sad. I'm so sad about that, but I really don't feel like we should have people over when we have this kind of sickness in our house. So, Turn and I are on a mission to go get Landon some birthday presents. He really, 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 really wants, he's gone through so many ideas. He wants a sleepy bag. He wants cool Nike shoes. He wants cool Van shoes. He wants a Real Salt Lake jacket. He wants a double shot. Well, he finally narrowed it down after a lot of thinking. Oh, way too much. <laughs> we would ask him, what's your first pick? And he'd like put them in order and then, and then I'd ask him and he'd put it in the exact opposite order so we had no clue. <laughs> so then I gave him some time to think and he came back and he said, I really want some Nike Air 270s. Air Max. Air Max 270s like Turin and a double shot. Unfortunately, a double shot I can't get in the store. I was hoping I could get everything accomplished tonight. So we're gonna order one of those in the store. We could really use a new double shot. We have a double shot in the basement, but it's the electric part of it that keeps the score, it doesn't work anymore. And honestly, we have gotten so much use out of it. The kids love it. It is probably the most used thing in our basement. But we could really use a new one. And Landon is super into basketball right now, so I think he's going to love, love, love that. We may not be able to find 270s. They're a little tricky to find, but Justin said he's going to love anything that Turin picks out. So I've got my secret weapon, Big Brother Turin, and we are on a mission. We don't have a ton of time before stores close. I'm Landon. The coolest shoes out there. And these are going to be shoes that do not go over his braces. He's actually only supposed to wear his braces until he gets home from school. And then he can take them off and wear normal shoes. And that's what these shoes are gonna be for. I know that all I've been talking about the last three days is how foggy it is, but Turin. Oh my gosh, no. When we were driving on the road, I actually thought we were gonna get in a wreck because you couldn't see anything. So I can't scary. see you right now either. <laughs> so but seriously, could barely see the lines on the roads and the cars in front of us. A little scary, but we made it. We are headed in to Nike. Turn, these are a killer deal. Any idea why? Uh, because it says Air Max in neon green all over it. <laughs> Turin just informed me that these are the exclusive I think Christmas. I don't know if they're exclusive, but they're like Air Jordans. And then I told him that Christmas is over, buddy. I don't even know if they're exclusive. <laughs> they're sick. You're trying them on for Landon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we found these shoes that are majorly on sale. Turin says they are sick. 
I think that I officially am an old mom because I can't wrap my head around these shoes. I don't think that they're very good looking. I think they look like space shoes, but Turin is telling me that they're cute. I think they're sweet. And we just ran into our cute neighbor and his prom date, and they both said that they're cute. So I'm going Mama. with their opinion. Yeah, I lost, I lost. Going with their opinion over mine, I said, would these be cute in third grade? And they said, oh yeah, if He'd he shows ballin'. up with those in third grade. <laughs> what did he say? He'd be balling. <laughs> so Taylor, and your prom date. If this is a fail, it's all your fault. Karen's just trying on a jacket for Fernando over here. Jacket's legit. I actually really love it. It's sweet. Okay, we're back out in the foggy mist. Trying to figure out where we're going. Where are we, Turin? Dance. I can't see where we're going. <laughs> Turin doesn't think I'm very funny, but I think I'm really funny. Jared and Britt are coming to pick, or drop off Miss Ava to us. <laughs> and Brittany was just telling me, oh, there they are again, oh my God. How was it? Was Brittany so brave? We got her earrings. Did she even cry? We have to check out her beautiful oh, earrings. Yes. <gasps> oh my goodness. Are they like a pinkish? So they're gold. I don't know. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah. They look so good. Oh my god. Not even a what tear? Ava, come here. Come tell your mom. Tell her how you helped that little girl before me. Was the little girl crying because she was really scared and then you said, what did you tell her? I tell her. It just hurts a little bit, huh? She stopped crying. That was so <laughs> nice. And she's gone. Yeah, she oh my so gosh, nice. you're the best ever. Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. taking it. What did you guys so fun. We went to Macaroni Girl. <gasps> oh and my I gosh. Got to draw on the table and have so much fun. Oh my gosh, their bread is like today. Let me see. It was so good. Yeah, what do you think, Turbo? Doesn't she look so pretty? 30 year old series. <laughs> they really look so pretty. Me and then all these little <laughs> tiny Did girls. Hurt? Lined up. Lined up and they're all watching me. Did so it have to be super brave. Huh? No, it honestly is just like a She quick was crying. <laughs> but Jared's gonna edit that part out, yeah, so nobody knows, out. yeah. It was pretty sad, like even little girls were like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Hazy. Hello. How are you? Good. <laughs> hey, what do you tell her? Huge, huge thank you. Thank you. No, huge thank you, like as big as you can. Thank you, huge, huge. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I love you. Thank you for being great. Oh my goodness, you are so kidding me. I had to get them a little present for help. Oh, a little present or a big present? Or just, they got to pick something oh out. Oh my goodness. Put on your favorite Where one? was Aunt Brady when I was a little girl? <laughs> Oh, you ha you can share one, I think. <laughs> okay, we decided to come by Vans because Landon has a couple pairs of Nikes and he has always, always wanted a pair of Vans because his brothers have Vans and he doesn't have Vans. And I told him if he wears them after school when he doesn't have his braces on, that he could have a pair of Vans. He wants checkered Vans. There's like eight different colors to choose from, so we're trying to decide. Oh my goodness, are these nail polishes and nail files <gasps> and makeup, like eyeshadows Lipstick. and lip, oh my goodness. You are so lucky. Okay, classic me. I bought a blue kind and a charcoal and black kind because I couldn't decide and I wasn't sure which one he wanted. So he's gonna get to choose between two and then I get to do a return, classic me. <laughs> but I'm feeling good that we went with Vans because I think he really, really wants some I think he's been feeling kind of sad and left out that he hasn't ever had any. For those of you who are new here, Landon wears orthotic braces and we have to find him shoes that are pretty particular. They have to be a tennis shoe. The bottom part of it has to be very even. You have to take the soles out of it. It has to be big, a bigger size so the brace can fit inside of it. If the sole is uneven, like sometimes the back is like this, then he'll be walking like this and that's not good. So anyway, he's been feeling kind of left out because he usually has to pick out shoes that fit with his braces. But I got thinking about it, he's supposed to spend a portion of his day not wearing braces at all. So he's gonna be excited to be joining the Vans Club for his first ever pair of Vans shoes. Are you clapping? <laughs> Can't tell if he's making fun of me, if he's happy for Landon. Which one is it? <laughs> first one. Making fun of me? That's what he's best at these days. We just stopped and got Mr. Turbo. What'd we get you, buddy? Just W's. His very favorite kind of burger is a bacon burger. 
So he got a bacon burger and a lemonade and some fries at 9.30 at night. Because that's how we roll on a Saturday night, except for me. I don't know how you just always eat healthy stuff. <laughs> it's because when you aren't 11 anymore, you can't eat cheeseburgers and fries all the time. If you miss seeing Justin on the other side of this camera, raise your hand because I do. He is still down in the basement. Tomorrow, I'm hoping he's gonna wake up and miraculously feel so much better. I'm sorry that it's been so much of me. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. I don't know what we're gonna do because we were supposed to be having a birthday party, but we're gonna do something. It's gonna be an awesome day tomorrow. I just know it. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us today. See you guys.